Terry McMillan is one of the most successful authors in modern history, and Terry McMillan net worth is sure to be impressive. The author has written many books that have become bestsellers, like Waiting to Exhale and How Stella Got Her Groove Back. Because of these successful books, she has earned a lot of money over the years. Let's take a look at Terry McMillan's career and explore her journey to success with Penn Book Center. What is Terry McMillan net worth and salary in 2023? Terry McMillan has a net worth of $40 million as of 2023 according to The Richest. As of 2023, there is no specific information available regarding Terry McMillan's annual salary. However, her substantial net worth indicates that her earnings from her successful writing career have been significant. With this impressive net worth, Terry McMillan is one of the richest writers in the world. Why is Terry McMillan famous? Terry McMillan became famous with her third book, Waiting to Exhale, in 1992. It became a bestseller and was turned into a movie in 1995. Some of her other important works are How Stella Got Her Groove Back, A Day Late and A Dollar Short, The Interruption of Everything, and I Almost Forgot About You. She also edited the book Breaking Ice, an anthology of contemporary African-American fiction. Terry McMillan Overview Early Life Born on October 18, 1951, in Port Huron, Michigan, McMillan grew up in a working-class African-American family. Her mother, Madeline Washington Tillman, and her father, Edward McMillan, raised her. They taught her to love telling stories when she was young. During her formative years, McMillan faced various challenges, including the divorce of her parents. McMillan finished high school at Port Huron Northern High School in 1969. She then went to the University of California, Berkeley. There, she studied journalism. Career Following her graduation in 1977, McMillan embarked on a career in journalism, working as a reporter for various publications. Despite her success in journalism, McMillan felt a burning desire to express herself creatively and explore her own narrative voice. In the early 1980s, McMillan made the pivotal decision to pursue a career as a fiction writer. Her debut novel, Mama, was published in 1987 and received critical acclaim for its authentic portrayal of motherhood and family dynamics. After getting more and more popular, McMillan released a book called Disappearing Acts in 1989. This made people see her as a really good writer who explores important ideas in her stories. However, it was her third novel, Waiting to Exhale, 1992, that catapulted Macmillan to new heights. This captivating tale of four African-American women navigating love, career, and friendship struck a chord with readers worldwide. The book stayed on the bestseller list of the New York Times for many months. People really liked it and it even became a movie that did well. After Waiting to Exhale became popular, Macmillan kept writing more books that people loved. Some of these books include How Stella Got Her Groove Back, 1996, and A Day Late and A Dollar Short, 2001. Her stories talked about important things that everyone can relate to, like love, finding yourself, and the challenges of relationships. Because of this, people from different cultures really liked her and she became a cherished author. In addition to her novels, Macmillan ventured into other literary forms, including short stories and nonfiction. In 1990, she published a book called Breaking Ice, an anthology of contemporary African-American fiction. This book had different stories from many African-American writers. It showed how diverse and unique their voices are. In recognition of her literary contributions, Macmillan has received numerous accolades, including the Essence Literary Award and the American Book Award. Her work continues to resonate with readers of all backgrounds, cementing her status as a trailblazing author. Personal Life In her personal life, Macmillan was married to Jonathan Plummer from 1998 to 2005. Their relationship ended following the revelation that Plummer was gay. Macmillan had a legal case against her ex-husband and his lawyer. They did things on purpose to shame and embarrass her. She won the case and got $40 million as compensation. She has a son named Solomon and currently resides in Northern California. FAQs about Terry McMillan How has Terry McMillan's writing evolved over the years? Throughout her career, Terry McMillan's writing has evolved to tackle a wide range of subjects. 
In the beginning, her books talked a lot about relationships between people. But in her newer books, like Who Asked You, and It's Not All Downhill From Here, she explores bigger topics that affect society. These topics include things like race, getting older, and women becoming stronger. How has Terry McMillan's work addressed social issues? Terry McMillan's novels often tackle social issues such as race, gender, and identity. In her stories, she shows us what life is like for different characters. We learn about the difficult and complicated things they go through in today's world. This makes us think and talk about these important topics. How has Terry McMillan's work been received by critics and readers? Terry McMillan's work has garnered both critical acclaim and a dedicated readership. Her novels have received praise for their relatable characters, engrossing narratives, and exploration of contemporary themes. While opinions may vary, her impact on literature and her ability to resonate with a broad audience cannot be denied. Conclusion In conclusion, Terry McMillan's remarkable career as a renowned author has not only garnered critical acclaim and a devoted readership but has also translated into significant financial success. Through her captivating storytelling and relatable characters, McMillan has amassed a substantial net worth, reaping the rewards of her literary achievements. Thank you for watching this video with Pen Book.